So which one should you buy? The PS5 or the Xbox One X? None. I know you may be tempted to, but don't spend a grand, almost a grand, on something you don't even need. Now, if you already are rich and have a loaded bank account, by all means, go ahead and get it. But if you don't have stable income coming in from your investments, then in that case, be cheap and don't spend a dime. We're going to go over some ways on how you can be cheap. And what exactly I mean by that. Hey everyone and welcome back to another episode of Dan Daily. Where we go over doable tips and tricks for your financial success. Now if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. Now, let me get back into it. You need to be cheap by the means of being frugal. If you're cheap, that means you don't like spending any money no matter what the situation. Now being frugal on the other hand is when you like to have the best deal with the value in mind for the things you have to get. For example, when you're frugal and shopping for a mattress, you don't just opt for the cheapest one. You look for the cheapest, but also for the best mattress for the long-term use without compromising your back and your health. Another example, you can buy a dirt cheap old car, but over the long run, the insurance cost, the gas, the maintenance all will cost you a whole heck of a lot more, as well as the stress of dealing with it. But instead, if you bought a car taking into account all the maintenance costs, gas costs for your commute, insurance costs, and the car's residual value after a couple years down the road, the newer, upfront, more expensive car may be actually cheaper and holds its value over the old car. Hopefully that made sense. Now, speaking of cars, you want to shop for car insurance yearly. And ask for all the discounts that can be applied or your current provider will increase your rates for no good reason. I just bought a new car and it's a great buy for the long term. I'll be making a video on that soon. But because I shopped around, I actually will be paying around $120 less than sticking with my previous insurance. And that includes my new and my old car, not just the old car. Medicines. For example, Tylenol. You can actually get the generic version called acetaminophen that does just as good. Now, before you start swapping out all your medications, you still want to check with your healthcare provider for whichever medication you are taking that you can swap out. Now, why should you trust me on that? Well, aside from being an entrepreneur, a fire movement aficionado, I'm also a nurse. Yes, bet you didn't know that. Also, if you buy Starbucks every morning on the way to work, stop. You can make your own at home that tastes great and saves you about $1,300 a year. That's a lot of money. Better yet, eat an apple instead. It has natural sugars and vitamins that are released slowly throughout the body, making you feel more awake without the jitters. And again, you save $1,300 every year. Another thing, everyone likes to decorate their house, but instead of buying the most brand new piece of furniture or decorations from the store, which may cost three, four hundred bucks a piece, check out Facebook Marketplace. You can get some very lively used furniture, sometimes even new, and decorations for a fraction of the price. We decorated our entire house that would have cost about five to ten thousand dollars for under a thousand dollars total for furniture and small decorations, which I'm sure I'll make a video on one of these days and show you in more detail. Um, so, and of course, you drive to work. Now, currently during the pandemic, you may not be driving to work as much, but if you are, chances are you had to fill your car with gas. Now, one app that I would definitely recommend is GasBuddy. You can even go on their website, gasbuddy.com. It tells you the cheapest gas you can find on your route, in your way, and save you a lot of money over time. A little disclaimer, I'm in no way sponsored by any of these apps, but I wanted to share with you some great money saving apps so you can be on your way to financial independence. Now, I really hope you enjoyed this video and found some value in it. If you did, please hit the like button. It would mean the world to me and hit the subscribe button for more videos. See you next time on Dan Daily.